back to the show. Oh, yeah. What a cool guy. He's one of the best. Yeah. Really. Uh, we have got to talk about this amazing guitar. So I think without further ado, let's let's hit back at her hack it. I'm going to call this the My Guitar. It's M-I Guitar. Okay. I'm sure it's how you're my, supposed to. It's, I'm sure that's My Guitar. M-I. Me guitar? Me, me guitar. Me guitar. Me guitar. Eugene. Magic Instruments is the name, this name of the company. So it's like the Magic Instruments guitar. M I guitar. So what makes it magic? Guitar. Ashley. Okay. So here's how it works. It's a guitar. You can see there are no actual frets. This is a what? fretless guitar, and those are buttons. Buttons. They're just buttons. Didn't they make a controller like that for a video game at one point? I believe a rock rocksmith rock band. Yeah. Was rock, it rock guitar the smith? The I forget what it's called. Rocksmith. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like rock. I think it's Rocksmith. I I remember seeing this, but it's not quite this. Right. So this is. Well, let's. Okay. So Rocksmith, really briefly, is uh, the guitar is like a real guitar, and it's got actual frets. This is more like a computer that is the shape of a car. You'll notice it doesn't have a head. Yeah. Notice it doesn't have. Well, you don't have to tune anything. Yeah, you don't have to tune anything. So um, so. What this does is you hit everything. It'll teach you how to play. Um, this, to me, is very strange and also very fascinating. So they reinvented the fretboard. They said, we just want to make it buttons. Like I said, this is a computer. Imagine just a computer that's in the shape of a guitar. I wish all computers were in the shape of a guitar. I know, right? Matt Bellamy, who is the lead singer of Muse, says, this is a quote, from their Indiegogo campaign. For people who don't have the time to learn the guitar, Magic Instruments is the ultimate shortcut. You'll be strumming your favorite songs in minutes. For singers mm. and non-guitar playing musicians, it's also a great tool for songwriting. I am someone who actually plays the guitar. Okay. And I, uh, I'm i not sold on this idea. Well, First it says all, this is for everyone who wishes they could pick up and play guitar, which would be me. Fair enough. Maybe I'm not the target audience. I will say, though, the, the thing you'll miss is uh, not getting calloused fingertips. Right, that's, uh, that's that an important thing. That is key part of learning the guitar, believe you me. You oh, gotta get those calluses, or else you'll you bleed. You'll put down your me guitar and pick up a real guitar and you'll be like, why does it hurt so much? Exactly. Well, that's no, why I think a lot of people- pain is called learning. But a lot of people recommend that you learn on an electric first, just to, mm, so that you can get used to pushing down the strings and then move to an acoustic where you have to push down harder. I learned on a nylon, on nylon strings before steel strings. So I, I had a little training wheels. Okay. But uh, yeah, I, st I started on acoustic nylon and then I moved to acoustic uh, steel and I earned it. You earned, I earned those it. calluses. You yeah. earned those calluses. So they're saying that you can start strumming chords that normally would take you like a few weeks to practice and it'll show you exactly what you need to do and you can learn how to play good. I th you know, anything that gets people learning music music and instruments in general uh, I'm in favor of so I'm not gonna poo poo this all you know completely but I will say this 90% of the reason I learned to play the guitar was to was for girls this thing does not make you look cool no it, it does doesn't. not make you look cool now if it, if you learn on it and then you transition to a real guitar well, see, now you're cool I think the real important thing is is what Matt Bellamy said which is this is a great songwriter tool if you don't want to just sit down, like if you want to just not mess around with tuning a guitar, but if you have an idea in your head and you're like, I got to get this down, I want to yeah. hear it out loud, you pick this thing up and you play it. But here's, you want to know, the, skeptical. You want to know the prices? Oh boy. It's not Do cheap. you want to guess? I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess $700. Oh, it's so much cheaper than that. Oh, good. Okay. So the early bird, the first early bird's already sold out, but the second one is still up early bird too, and it's 319 Oh. 319 US dollars. That's a lot cheaper than most guitars. Honestly, I thought it would be closer to like five or six hundred. Yeah. Um, so I, listen, as a song, if I was a musician, right. I would probably invest in this to have it for songwriting because, and then also I like the idea of saying like, well, all I know is to play the guitar. Maybe I don't know how to play the piano. Right. And this is a way you could actually, you know how on some Casio pianos, you can change it to sound like other instruments. Oh, does this thing do that? You, I'm sure they will either, if it's not already, in, baked into this, then it's all it's on its I wanna, way. I play like this, and a trumpet comes out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you only know how to play guitar and you want to mix something, like maybe this would be a way to do it. All right. That's what I'm saying. So no, for 319 bucks, it seems like maybe it might be worth the investment if you're a musician. It's cheap to live my trumpeteer dreams. It's fair. All right. Will you please write our new theme song? We need it. I just did. I think. I think that's pretty great. I'm gonna make that my new ringtone. <laughs>